That's crazy. This was crazy. It was exciting, you know, it was everything that I ever could have dreamed of as well. I was having the time of my life, but it was, it's hard. It's a ton of work, it's very little sleep. It's constant mo motion, constant movement, constant cities, constant packing, constant leaving, constant flying, constant going, constant never coming backing. I didn't even know where I lived half the time. That time I was 19, you know, or 20, and just going. Then you're meeting people and dealing with people that are lying to you. They're telling you things that are not true because they want to get whatever they want out of you. And so you're trying to discern, wait a minute, I'm uncomfortable with this, wait. There was kind of some relationships and, and friendships and things that were just like becoming a little unhealthy. I remember there was some heavy business changes that I needed to make at the time. You know, it happens with everyone. It's just like you kind of have to learn the right thing. It was just a whirlwind. The only way to maintain that was to have a lion's focus and, and drive. I think my drive has had a twofold effect on me. It, it's definitely made me a better artist in the sense of always wanting to strive for more and push harder and write better and sing better and perform better and things like that. And I think it's also had some negative effects on me too. There was a time where I was just so relentless. Like I was just like filling up every space I could possibly fill and moving as fast as I could possibly move at every moment. How does it feel? Great! Yeah. Like Tony the Tiger! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. I would just find myself in, in places, just like with tears rolling down my face, tears rolling down my face. And, um, and it was so weird. You know, I was just like, just like empty because I just didn't, you know, I just, I guess I started to feel disconnected. You know, I didn't know myself, or I didn't know, I didn't have enough time to slow down to kind of like connect my soul back inside or something. It was always like I was just so fast ahead. There was like bits of me in the back or something. And um, I think I um, became too machine-like or, you know, too uh, hardened or too, like, stone-walled, you know? I was like, I always had to just be on and focused and moving forward and, you know, my vision was like kind of just like that, which is good in some way, but, you know, life is a balance. So I took a break. I took three weeks, three whole weeks. <laughs> huh. I went to Egypt and I sailed down the Nile and I saw the tombs and I saw the, the temples and I saw the pyramids, I sang at the top of the pyramids. I was just reinvigorated. That was big and that's my first time I really went anywhere by myself, you know, and just kind of went and was by myself to experience myself myself in an environment, you know, as opposed to so many things or people or whatever. So that was, that was amazing. I think time for yourself is the most difficult thing to find sometimes, but such an important thing. I personally think that you're just able to, to vibrate on another level, you know, and I think that's the thing that I, that I learned the most from being by myself. It's like usually you're on a trip with someone, you know, and you're having a great time. But you're wanting to know, are they hungry? Are you wanting to know where do they want to go? Are they happy to go to do this thing? Are we going to go do this? Or maybe we're going to be cool to just stay in? Or And you're spending so much time kind of considering what someone else is comfortable or happy to do that you're not just for, the, for your instincts, you know, just saying, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm just going to stay in. Or I'm gonna go out and eat. I'm gonna go read my book. You know, whatever the case is, it's 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 this beautiful freedom to be able to just have a moment where you choose whatever it is you choose because it's what's perfect for you at that moment. 
that trip to Egypt was the beginning of me starting to uncover kind of myself and really find out like who I, who I was at that present moment. <laughs> 